Hello friends, welcome to Wapakoneta, Ohio. I'm at the Armstrong Air and Space Museum. Welcome. I'm in friends, it's $10 to get in, unless you have AAA and then it's only $9. I have AAA. It's hard to do this by yourself. But that's what it would look like. Just imagine my face in there, okay? The first part of the museum is uh, about the space race between Russia and the U.S. At the end of my last road trip from Louisiana, I got the opportunity to watch a SpaceX launch. And I filmed that. It's at the end of uh, one of the last videos there. It was amazing. It's amazing to see that in person. Even during the daytime, you can see the launch is just clear as bell. It is really fascinating to think about space and how we get there and how we travel around in it and the expanse of space and all the spacey things, all the facts and crazy stuff. And to think about this museum is named after Neil Armstrong, the, one of the first pioneers into this crazy space. Almost hit my head on this wing as I was talking to you. All about Neil, local hero. John Glenn and Neil Armstrong hanging out. Neil Armstrong started as a pilot when he was 16 years old. He got his license and he became quite involved in flight. He became a test pilot for the government and then. In 1962, he was chosen to be an astronaut and go up into space. This is the actual Gemini 8. It was the first spacecraft to dock with a satellite in orbit. Not much space in that spacecraft, huh? In case you didn't know, Neil Armstrong is so important because he is the very first person to walk on the moon. You probably already knew this. The first person to walk on the moon. The moon. We haven't been to the moon for a while. Here's some equipment used for it. When I was a young man, I was fascinated with this ship right here and with Neil Armstrong. He was a fellow Ohioan. I grew up nearby here. I loved space travel. I wanted to be an astronaut myself because of this guy. This is really neat to, to see up close some of the equipment that was used and this space suit. It's a comparison of rockets. So you can see how big the Apollo is. Space food. I don't think I would mind trying this stuff. I don't know if I'd want to eat it every day for weeks and weeks or months, but I'd try it for sure. It's a sleep restraint. You gotta zip yourself in it so you don't float away. Fireproof coveralls. Love those Wright brothers. There's a piece of the fabric from the Wright flyer that was taken to the moon. Flag that flew on the moon. This is a biological isolation garment from Apollo 11. Strong work, Neil. Buzz Aldrin was with Neil Armstrong when they walked on the moon. They were the first two guys on the moon. Still amazing. Just amazing. Some awards that Neil received. Key to Toledo. And Bogota, Colombia. Also Rio de Janeiro. Nice key.
This is Neil's backup suit on the Apollo. The real deal. These are all for sampling things from the moon. These are cameras that were used on the moon. This is a stenograph. It records moonquakes. <laughs> Moon quakes. Here's a piece of the heat shield and the fabric from the parachute used on the Apollo. The seamstress making it up, inspecting it. Whoa. Spacey. The astronauts took quickly to walking on the moon in one sixth of Earth's gravity. The experiments were not complicated. The real mission was simply to land and return safely. For the unknown, Neil's statement the other day upon first setting foot on the surface of the moon. very good movie in here and what looks to be a dual purpose planetarium about Neil Armstrong and the first experience on the moon. And here's the rest of the planets, a little glimpse of them. Might make it here next. Not me. I will not be signing up for such adventures like that. I like earthly adventures better. Yeah. Not these space ones. They're a little too freaky for me. Some things from our modern times that have been developed because of the space industry. Of lots of things, including the space pen. Who had one of those? I did. Lost it. And a fog. Graphite epoxy composite, of course. A space RC car for video recording, looks like. Some more flight suits. This is a hydro suit. Not, not sure what's going on with those mittens. Oh, more space food. Space Coke. I'll tell you right now, if they sell freeze dried ice cream in this gift shop, I'm buying two of them. Space gloves and headset. These were used by Russian astronauts. I got a simulation here. You can land the space shuttle. Yeah, I tried that already five or ten times. Yeah? It's a tough one. Oh, this is pretty good, right? Did I, did I make it? I got a space shuttle tire. Huh. I can't see too far in there. It's it is hollow and extremely thick. Wow. <laughs> Another lunar landing simulator. Lots of fake buttons. None of these do anything. Oh, it moves. And we end our tour of the museum in the gift shop. Standard gift shop items, including t-shirts, spaceship themed toys, surprise bags for only a dollar, spacemen, and of course, space ice cream. Told you I'm getting two of these. These are both ice cream sandwiches here. I don't see the Neapolitan style, but there's two different labels and definitely getting both of these. We also have some books and other stuff you can pick up. All these patches are available as well. I have never seen patches like this. They're all space mission patches. And pretty large. Look at that. Pins for you pin collectors. Hello. New ice cream. Yep. Love that stuff. The Armstrong Air and Space Museum is awesome. If you are in the Wapakoneta, Western Ohio, anywhere, make sure to drop off here and check it out. It is really an amazing museum full of American history and space history, you should come check it out. 
Friends, thanks for joining me today. I'll see you in the next video.